seeing the effectiveness of the other nation's sea army, and after my many failures at trying to get a hover boat to work, or be properly effective, I needed to find another way for boats to work, since hovering was just kind of driving me crazy. So I ordered my researchers to climb the highest mountain and consult with a wise man known only as the Manly. So, today we are here with a hydrofoil. Yes, this is my solution to boats. It's a hydrofoil. If you saw Scott Manley's video, you'll know that, um, you'll, you'll know about hydrofoils. So after seeing that, I decided, let's weaponize it and make it kind of big. Uh, so yeah, let's just get this going and then talk about it. It's powered by a couple of jet engines. Uh, it's still a very early prototype, hence it looking terrible and not being particularly functional. This engine initially drops off hugely, and rather than doing what I'd like and slowly easing the, um, slowly easing it out of the water, I have to pretty much slam it out of the water, and then let this uh, engine climb to full power, and then I can take the SAS off, and it'll be passively stabilized, which I will talk out, uh, talk about in a little bit. And that's 100% power, the engines are stable, and now so is the craft. Yes, um, I thought this was a very cool idea, and I've had weird problems with hover pads. Lots of inexplicable spinning, lots of crazy other things going on, um, just random explosions, that sort of stuff. And I really like this idea. Um, so yeah, it's quite hard to keep it at a decent speed, um, because it can't go too fast or it kind of flips out. But yeah... Um, Right, I'll explain the hydrofoil, because there's a possibility some of you are like, what's a hydrofoil, and didn't watch Scott Manley's video. Um, so basically, with KSP 1.0.5, there is a new hydrodynamics model, which models hydrodynamics far more realistically, which means fins actually work in water as they would in air. However, obviously, water has a greater impulse because it's far denser, so it lifts it much quicker, and once you just kind of scoot a little bit out of the water, um, so that you're mostly in the air, it'll passively stabilize because if the air isn't enough to hold it up, as you can see it's often not because it keeps bouncing down, there will be a greater force from the water, so it's pushed up. So yeah, it's basically just kind of a mix of, it's a, almost like a plane that works in the ocean and the air. It's hard to explain, I don't know a huge amount about hydrofoils other than they're awesome. Um, I am starting to take off now. This is actually becoming a plane. I need to slow down. <laughs> okay, let's slow it down. It's just about stable. I'm still glancing the water, but it's pretty much flying right now. Um, it this it requires a lot of your stabilization, I've noticed. Um, so it has four tail fins and three rudders. Yes, it is indeed a boat, so it does have rudders. Uh, but yeah, it's also weaponized, as I said, so let's open these up and show you the money, which isn't massive right now, because, uh, well, I haven't, I'm just in very early development with this, so it doesn't have a huge amount of weapons or particularly long range. It's got a decent range. I mean, all of this is just fuel. I mean, it's still carrying oxidizer, because I forgot to take it out. Uh, but anyway, so let's, we can raise up the missiles, we can arm the, that, ooh, shit, I just turned one of the things off. Fuck. I just turned one of the uh, fins off, and now we have a problem. Oh, God. And I press start. Oh, jeez. Okay, now we have a serious, serious, serious problem. Okay, we need to drop back into the water. Um, stow these. <laughs> Try and reduce as much drag as we can. Get up to a decent speed. And then pop out of the water. Mm, close. Close these. Close the clo close. <sighs> oh, they have a deploy limit now. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. All right, so. Uh, okay, and out of the water. Yeah, I deploy them all at the same time because I need to get out of the water quickly and gain a huge amount of speed, which apparently I'm not doing. Ooh, problematic. This hydrofoil. That's because I'm not fully out of the water. I didn't hit all of the buttons. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Now we're back up to speed. Out of the water, there we go. I need all three of them. These top ones might be kind of superfluous, but they're still being lifted by air, so not really. Okay, now that everything's good again, 
Uh, ooh, I do need to turn SAS off because it's actually less stable with SAS because it'll stop dipping into the water and it's more likely to take off. So it's better to be passively stabilized. It's always better to be passively stabilized in any kind of thing because if you need a big piece of equipment, uh, what if that piece of equipment fails and then you can't... It's like planes that are only stable in KSB because of SAS. What's they're no good, because what if they get shot off, you run out of electric charge. You want it stabilized by the air, and that's why I like this. Um, because to make hoverboats stable, I had to be really inventive with um, SAS and lots of things. But this is just stable. And anyway, I, can't, I can only fire these missiles manually, because uh, weapon manager doesn't seem to trust my ability to create vehicles. But yes, I can carry a large payload of weapons, and then of course my... Um, Ooh, I just did something bad. <laughs> just took the fins down again. Um, and I can use my chain guns. Yes. I've actually made sure that this doesn't fly as a plane. Because it could if I designed it in this such a way. But I feel like that would raise some questions that the other nations would be rather unhappy with and possibly wouldn't let me use this as a ground unit. So, yeah. It's... It won't fly. But anyway, I, that's pretty much all of it. I just thought it was a really cool concept. And I just... <laughs> oh! Also turning. You may be wondering, how do you turn this? You don't yaw for one. You need to slow down, actually, quite a lot. And then you apply roll through trim. I've actually only really studied... I've never really used trim. I... I well, at firstly, I've never really known particularly what it is. But obviously, now I've just kind of been like, oh. It's just very useful for turning. You can see if I apply some trim to the... Oh my god, I forgot SAS was still on. Ooh. That's problematic. It's turning one way. Is that the way I want it to be turning, or is it just naturally... Oh. Uh, oh no. Okay, so I got a little confused there. Yeah, it'll actually turn the opposite way to the way you roll. Not entirely sure why. I don't really know why anything happens. But yeah, you can turn it quite effectively just by applying a little bit of trim. Or a lot of trim. And hopefully not rolling over, uh, because yeah, that's just it. Just it's just it's it's a really perfect vehicle. I really do love it, and it's also turning a little more now because of oh uh, yeah yeah okay. <laughs> it'll be turning a little more because these engines are unbalanced, so it'll be fighting to turn that way. So that's problematic. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna hit this island. I'd like to turn out of the way of this island. Yep, I may have not... Oh, okay, right. Hmm. No, I want to turn the other way now. <laughs> I am a little confused. Oh, now I can turn SAS off. Now I can actually turn. Apparently that way. Oh no, now it's turning the way I want it. There we go. And now it's flipping out because I went too fast. <laughs> okay, as you can see, there's a lot of kinks to figure out. But the basic concept works fine. And now I can just drop back into the water. And... If I really want to, I can take off, but I probably shouldn't because it'll just flip out and die. But yeah, really cool, right? And uh, you got my gun up front. Got my gun. Look at that shit. <laughs> so I'm hoping this will be actually very effective once I build a proper, super working, super armed one, which will be super deadly and will slaughter all these stupid hoverboats. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been Casper with Tape. I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.